Hi, how you doing? Um, I just got one of these switch relays um, on eBay and uh, it doesn't come with any instructions. Um, and I think I've finally figured it out. So um, save you blokes a whole heap of time doing the same thing. I thought I'd post this for you. Um, so um, it's the model of this is a HC-31. So there's different models. And, and I think this one doesn't have a lot of functionality. The others have a bit more. Um, but if you have got one of these, you want to kind of know what it, how to work it. Um, so you've got um, current input here. I've currently got this set up to a to a battery here, 12 volts, um, and uh, it's meant to have a time delay. So it operates this relay. Um, one of the you've got common and common here, and one of them's um, normally open, and the other one's normally closed. So and the way all I've seen this do is. Um, is operate this relay. Um, the way that I've noticed it is, it's got um, it's got these pins here, which is your your delay setting. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't tell you how to configure these; it just tells you to muck around with the delay settings here. Um, so um, can't really see that too well. Uh, and it didn't work for a while until I found that there's actually settings that they want you to use. Otherwise, it'll have spurious. Um, activities going on. So this is a table that I've found on um, online um, and it shows you for various delays how you should configure the S1 and S2 um, straps. So there's also an S4 strap as well there. Um, so it's a combination of um, how you strap S1 and S2 and if you have S4 strapped or not. Yeah? And you'll get you'll get different um, you'll get different uh, delays for this timer. If you do anything other than that, you have spurious activity. It kind of works, but then it stops working after a while. So um, that'll throw that'll be a bit of a curveball for you. Um, and here's the uh, that's the S4 strapping here. Yeah. So um, so the, these the combination of uh, the S1, and S2, and the S4 is to set up your um, your timing. Um, and uh, to get it to actually trigger, uh, it's these, it's this, it's these two pins here, which comes with a, a strap. Uh, so you would really need to buy um, strap cables to to plug onto these, um, and then um, that would, you know, whenever that circuit's joined, it does the the switching, right? So I'll show you now. When I put this strap on, you can see that green light come on. Sorry, let me do it again. So the green light comes on, which means the, the relay is switched from one pole to the other. And when I take that off, um, it'll switch back, but not straight away. It'll switch back after the time has been um, elapsed. Uh, so if I take this off now, you see it took about one or two seconds after that before it actually um, switched. So um, uh, and I, forgot, I forgot to mention too, you've got, you know, this um, variable sort of dial here that allows you to um, further adjust the, the, the timing after you've, st you've set these strapping settings. So that's pretty much it. Um, uh, but the trick is that this, I think the trick that, that I had to find out was that this strap here, you have to actually cable it up to your, you know, wherever you're, however you're using this. I don't know if we do this properly. Um, and so it's now, you know, the relay is activated, <coughs> but if you want to delay that relay switching after the circuit opens again, um, that's what'll happen. So, hope that helps you. Um, uh, save and save you from mucking around. See you later.